One one high fly ball. Deep right field. Backing up Eaton and that one is out of here. No sad. He crushed it. And the Red Sox have taken the lead. Bitch, put some respect on my name. Hey. When you speak on me, you speak on the game. Bro, welcome to Smack Talk. Um before I start, I gotta shout out the guy who did my intro. My boy Cedric. That is S E D R I C K S with a dollar sign. Uh, that was a sneak peek from his unreleased mixtape un entitled uh, Golden Flower. Go check out his last project, Walk the Line, available on all platforms. That is S E D R I C K S with a dollar sign. So. Let's get right to it. I am here with my boy, Parsa. <laughs> Thanks for having me, baby. Oh, shit. And we have my live audience member, a boy that I've uh, known for quite a while now, my boy Cameron Thompson. What's up, brother? Yeah, what's up, bro? What's going on? So we got a live audience member, first time drinking, so we're having some uh, Irish JMO. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers. That's Australian. Who gives a shit? <laughs> Parsa, bro. Yes, sir. Today, look, we're not we're not gonna dive into specific topics, okay? We're gonna talk more about life and just shoot the shit. You know, I got a couple questions. We're just gonna have fun and drink and enjoy our Friday night. Let's do it. So, Pars, why the fuck did you get into bartending, dude? Yo, I'll be quite honest with you, man. I used to work a lot of restaurants and stuff, mm -hmm. right? And then uh, eventually, I started serving, right? And then I got into uh, my more serious part of life where I started my careers and whatnot, right? Uh, I would go out every now and then. And then eventually, uh, one of my friends, Vince. Vince, Meech. Yeah, 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 yeah. big Meech. Yeah, he offered me a job. He said, yo, come on in. And then, uh, you know, the rest is history. But honestly, in the beginning, it was mostly a weekend job, right, to, to fill in the blanks. Mm -hmm. And also to learn something new, which... In my in my thought, girls? yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Huh? <laughs> in my thought, it was like how to make drinks, but then I, I went into a. <laughs> I didn't last very long. No, bro, because I went into a and bar, you know, where it's just like rum and coke, yeah, or yeah. vodka crayon, whatever. That's right? what it's called, an yeah, and bar. And bar. Okay, that's yeah. like fucking bartender terms. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. All Compared right. to like a cocktail bar, all right, you know, an and bar is just like a, a club where you just go in and it's rum and coke or beer, right? Yeah, yeah. You get what so I'm they don't saying? really do like mixology. Barely, bro. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, we do, but it's like, I don't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Ask me for a cocktail, I'll say, vodka crayon is a cocktail. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? I got Red Bull, and I got vodka, and I got ice. That's what do you what want, you're bro? getting, bro. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, man. It's the way to go. <laughs> but yeah, man, as you said, there's a lot of other uh, positive things that came out of that, mm -hmm. right? And, and a lot of uh, character development. Oh, yeah, that's true, man. And yeah. you meet so much different people. So like, many people yeah. made me social and shit. Before yeah. that, I was very, I'm not going to say antisocial, but I was very like socially semi-awkward. What know do you what mean? I'm like you just, dude, you were always like a social butterfly, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you, you were fucking making me blush, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blushing, but it's from the JMO. But yo, no, I, I, I used to be like good with people and shit, but mm -hmm. not to the point where I just like strike up random conversations with people. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Nowadays, I'm in an elevator or whatever. I'll just start talking shit with people, you know, just yep. shooting shit just to make them happy or make me happy. It's just fucking just talk shit for the fun of it, right? Hmm. Before that, I'd fucking look at the ground or some shit. You get what I'm saying? You That's, know what? Me too, man. Yeah. When I come to think of it, me too. And if like same thing with speaking, the same thing with having a conversation. Like if you don't practice it, it's, it's not going to come easily. Yeah, you know? Exactly. Yeah, and yeah, bars help out a lot. Yeah. And people tend to uh, confess and talk to bartenders a lot. So you must yeah. have heard some crazy fucking. Some stories. random shit, bro. Some people just come up and they say the weirdest shit, bro. And you're just like, you're like in semi shock, but you're also like, this is part of it. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's it's Damn. just it, it's weird sometimes, bro. But as you said, it it really comes with like experience, right? And experience with talking to random people is talking to random people. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Even if you have nothing in common with them. Yeah, because you That's can talk. That's important, guys. Yeah, because you can talk all you want with your friends, right? Because you're comfortable with them. Yeah. But with a random person, bro, as soon as you start talking, man, you start thinking about what you're gonna say, right? You gotta get over that barrier, right? Yep. It's just, hard. 
Yeah. It's hard when you live in a cancel culture, man. Oof. You don't, know? don't fucking get me started. No, no, bro. we're not. I'm just, I'm just saying, okay? Jesus. What is it, five minutes in? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay, no, no, no. We're getting you canceled tonight, my friend. Oh, oh please all because of my okay. friend J Mo. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, man. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. Um, so, you know, bartending and all the nightlife scene, it goes together with food, too, okay? Yeah. Me and you have that in common. We are absolute fucking foodies, oh, okay? Oh, sure. I, I love food and not just, you know, not crappy food. I like good quality you, food bro. cooked well. Yeah. And, um, like, me, like, let's say, like, let's say I have a couple drinks on the weekend. I go on Netflix. The first thing I'm going to look up is cooking shows. Oh, I really? It, dude. On You're YouTube into too. that. Oh, yeah. I can't, bro. What? I can't. You know why, bro? Why? Because I just start craving what they're eating, and I can't have it at my disposal. That's you know very what I'm true. saying? And whatever they're making on cooking shows, the worst is baking shows, you know? Because that shit mm. takes like fucking forever, I can't bake. bro. I can cook. I can't, I can't bake, bake either, mm. bro. I, I recently tried getting into it. I still can't, bro. But Because you have to be precise, huh? Precise, and you have to have patience, yeah, bro. Yeah, that's true. You know? Mm -hmm. As a cook, a, a, a chef and a baking chef are two different fucking worlds, bro. Completely Absolutely. different, man. Yeah, completely different. It takes a lot of patience to be a, a pastry chef. Like you have to take your time. You know, knead the bread or yeah. whatever. You know, and chef is really like like line cooks. Dude, it's a sport. It's oh, an Olympic it's a sport. fucking sport, bro. Yeah. No wonder you won't see one fat line chef, bro. No, never, bro. Yeah, because they're sleep deprived and on drugs. Sleep deprived <laughs> on drugs, and they're fucking. Shout out, master. <laughs> <laughs> Chef I love you, brother. I love you. I love you. <laughs> nah, for real. Master's yeah. doing good, bro. He is for real, a fucking. He yo, is the he's best doing cook, really man. good, bro. He is an absolute. Yo, I haven't Montreal, seen him in a long time. Yeah, man. Montreal really did him good, bro. Yes. For real, man. Mad shout out, bro. You're doing fucking good. Yes. Keep, keep up what you're we doing, We love you, dog. bro. It's all love. Yeah, keep up what you're doing, bro. But yeah, man, it really is, bro. Except for like chefs, you know, because uh, chefs, like some chefs, they, they reach that point, yeah. you know, they get lazy or whatever, and they, they stop like running around or fucking busting out. But it's hard when you work like 16 hour days, man. Bro, it's crazy, man. Those guys fucking pay. Underpaid hours. as well. Underpaid. Yo, that's why I got out of the fucking uh, back of house, man. I used to be back of house, you know, I used to work that kind of, that's kind of like where my love for food came from. I used to work a lot of restaurants hmm. and shit in the back, you know, fucking, uh, I used to be fucking sous chef at some point. Well, sous chef. It was at a fucking, uh, what's it called? Cezanne, you know? So it wasn't that's, really. the, uh, that's the Asian? Asian, uh, yeah, with the walks and okay. shit. Bro, they call it Asian here? Yeah. All right, dude. <laughs> It's fucking it's general Asian pound infusion. chicken. Okay? Yeah, it's that's Asian it. infusion. That's it's, it. it's nothing legit. And like three bro. kinds of noodles, dude. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah. There's nothing but, bro, Asian about I, it. I was fucking saucy on the walk, man. You should have seen me go, bro. Were you saucy on yeah, the walk, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was fucking flipping that shit, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like crazy, man. Fucking light that shit on fire just wow. for the fun of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was good with it. You know, I was nice with it. But that's what I'm saying, bro. I started in the back of house, man. And then uh, shout out to Raf. Raffle truck, yeah, man, Matt, shout out. It's mostly because of her, bro. I was working back up house at, um, what's it called, Games Bowl, when Games Bowl was still a thing. Yeah, okay. Right? It's, it's, it doesn't exist anymore? No, it's La Tic Grenouille now, right? Yeah, La Tic Grenouille. Really? I, d I never go out to your yeah, audience. Yeah, so. no, yeah, yeah, good for you, bro. You're, you're, you're missing out on nothing. I know. Nothing at all. I know. Right? But, uh, yeah, I used to work back of house there, and she'd come in, and she'd be like, Paris, you're way too pretty to be out back. And, you know, initially, I was just like, oh, she's talking shit. But at some point, I said, she fuck it. Yeah, she was talking shit. Right? Let's right, get though. Let's get it straight, bro. She was talking shit, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. eventually, I said, fuck it, bro. Why not try? So she's I started like, she's, like, she's trying to see what that walk game can do for her, you Yeah, know? bro. You never yeah, know, yeah. right? Yeah. And that it did good for her, man. Mad shout out, Ralph. Yo, I love you, eh? That's beautiful. But yeah, no, and then I started busting, and then I started serving, and then the rest is history, bro. I was making bank. Bro, I was making like 15 an hour back there, bro, busting ass, man, sweating, doing like fucking 12, 14 hour days, bro. Mm. And it was like toxic, bro, because you finish that shit, you start drinking while you're doing your clothes, and then you're right beside all the bars, bro. Next thing you know, you switch out in your fucking greasy clothes to other clothes, but you still smell like fucking dirt shit ass grease, right? Spray mm. yourself down with some fucking expensive perfume. It's a mix of fucking Dior and fucking, <laughs> and fucking Grease, right? Yeah, exactly. And Dove fucking body spray. Yeah. No, but dude, seriously, like, um, it's a hard career to get into. So hard. And honestly, if I were to do something, like, I love the industry. Like, I love the, like, the, the wine culture. I love, uh, you know, French cuisine. Yeah. I would just get a restaurant, to be honest. Yeah. I, like, if, if I were to venture in that yeah. domain, I would get a restaurant. I just buy a restaurant, you know, like, treat the employees well and yeah. let them run the show. You know what but I mean? But even if you do that, you still need to have, like, a fucking diehard chef. 
You get what I'm saying? Master. Front of, yeah, literally, bro. <laughs> Master could do that for you, bro. Yeah, he is so talented, man. He's really talented, yeah, bro. So no for cap, people I that don't know, win. he's our, our childhood friend, too. He's in Montreal right now. Um, he did his training in in France. Yeah. Um, he's an amazing chef, dude. Killing it, bro. Killing it, bro. Killing no cap, it. Man. I don't give him much love, like, on IG, but I still like his vi his fucking stories and shit. Like, I, I won't reply, because I don't reply to people. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Absolutely. But, man, if you're watching, bro, just know that you're fucking killing it, bro. No cap, oh. man. You're fucking yep. killing it. And he's a classic um, uh, restaurant goer. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, exactly. Full of tats, like loves yeah. the party. He's the life of the party. He's such a great and loving person. He'll give anything to you, dude. And he's he always in R&D, right? Always yes. trying out new restaurants yep. and shit. He what knows up? everybody, bro. Yeah, bro. Whatever you want to say, bro. He's just going to a restaurant eating food. Yeah, but no, you know? Like, uh, say what you want to say, but just going to another restaurant, trying their food, getting a new taste for things, it gives you that thought, you know, in the yeah. back of your mind. It gives you that, 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 that fucking creativity. It's an art form. Yeah, bro, for sure. It really is. And that's what it comes down to, bro. Running the front of house is something, you know? Front of house is just hosting people. You get what I'm saying? Bringing them in, making sure they're comfortable, making sure everything's, like, good and whatnot. But back of house, bro, is a completely different game. Yeah, because there's no clientele, right? Bro, so there's it's no just clientele, a and it's yeah. not just that, bro. Like you can tell people what to do, but it's just like everything is fucking precise, bro. It's like clockwork. You know what I'm saying? It's like mm -hmm. the inside of your fucking watch, bro. Yeah. You know, everything has to be perfect, bro. If not, everything fucks up. You miss one plate, bro. You're looking to get that plate. That guy is like cooking a steak or whatever. Mm -hmm. He's got to cook another steak before doing the other ones. Everything starts fucking falling apart. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. That's why yeah. you need somebody, like, if ever you want to venture in that shit. It's a team, right? You got to work yeah. as a team. If one fucks up, it's done. It's done, bro. Yeah. It's done. And mm -hmm. that's so crazy in the back of house compared to, like, the front, bro. The front is... And don't get me wrong. Serving is something else. You know, it's, it's hard work and whatnot. But I've done both, bro. Back of house is a fucking hellhole, man. It's a hellhole, bro. Well, you learn, you learn from your mistakes, right? Oh, for sure. For hmm. sure. Well, not a mistake, really. It's really pretty much just a, it's life a learning experience. curve. Yeah, yeah, yeah life experiences, sure. right? Mm -hmm. If ever you treat anything like a mistake, you're not really learning, Ooh, right? Yeah, you're right. Absolutely. Right? Man, and Einstein said, when you stop learning, you die. I love that. And, bro, that's, like, that's such part of, like, today's mentality, bro, is, like, people, like, finish school, they get a career, they get a kid, and then they think that's it. You know, mm -hmm. they don't they don't try to better themselves in any way whatsoever. They're Zero. comfortable in their spot. They stop learning. And that fuck that drives me up the fucking wall. bro. Yeah, man. You act stupid constantly. Yeah, you know? bro. You're Be never sponge. too old. Bro. No, you're, not. you're not. You know what? No matter if you live like 200, 300 fucking years, bro, you will never know everything there is to know. And you always have something to learn. Exactly. There's mm -hmm. always something new popping up every fucking day, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, like fucking 10 years ago, cigarettes were healthy. Now, nowadays, bro, it's like, well, maybe like 30, 40 years yeah, ago, yeah, yeah. right? Nowadays, fucking Fruit Loops are healthy. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> I knew I'd get you on that. You fucker. Okay. All right, I'm I got to mention it, man. I'm sorry. You, you, you asshole. Uh, All I right, you, bro. so I found a post, okay, stating that um, Fruit Loops were healthier than red meat. Okay, so. Yo, it's a fact, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to go into details, but in what world is that normal? That's all I'm going to say. The in American what world, world bro? where you can, like, you know, read this and with a coherent mind, look at it and say, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Look at our fucking population. Everybody is overweight. Hey. There's a problem. I know. I grew up as a fat kid, okay? It took right? me multiple years to lose it. And right? I'm still and struggling. You, no, you look good, bro. Thank no, you, bro. You look but, good, no, but I'm just saying, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? It, it takes a lot yeah, yeah. to take it off, Listen, brother. bro, I heard this crazy fact the other day. Mm -hmm. The average w weight of a woman in America is 170 pounds. That's nuts. That's, That's bananas, bro. <laughs> That's fucked. Okay. And uh, that's no disrespect to women. I think men's is like no. pretty much the same, if it's not, not more. It's not women at all, but bro. It's just... I know some fat slobs, man. Yeah. And it's they ain't women. No, all exactly, right? bro. Yeah. It's just, it comes to show where America's standing right now in terms of like health. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Anyways, anyways, <laughs> back to cooking food. Speaking about food, <laughs> okay? What is, why do you like food so much? Uh, like seriously, not just like a basic ass question. I like food because no, no. we have to eat food. No, 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 dude. Why do you like food? Honestly, like uh, growing up, man, for the longest time, at least till I was like 18, until I started really working in restaurants, I didn't give a fuck, bro. I'd just come home, my mom would have food, and I'd just start eating. You yep. know what I'm saying? Yep. That was it. But then I started working in restaurants and whatnot, 
especially when I started working front of house, that really gave me a love for, well, first of all, working back of house, something else, right? Knife skills, yeah. right? How to cook a steak properly, Ooh. you know? Helpful. Like, just just the, just the fucking finger, uh, the, the, the hand test, yep. you know? To, to know, like, the wellness, the, the doneness of your steak, right? So what is, what, what's medium rare? Uh, medium rare is this, right? I think. I don't know. I'm just... I think this, okay. and then you touch here, right? Yeah. This is well done. Mm -hmm. You get it? So, like, yeah. it's harder, and then medium rare, and then this is rare, <laughs> I believe, if I'm not mistaken, right? Mm -hmm. Nowadays, bro, like, I know the cut. I know, like, how long it's going to take, yeah. right? You get what I'm saying? I usually do. I usually do. I think it's, um, no, three and a half minutes on each side, and then I let it rest for 10 minutes. The key is to let it rest. Perfect. Absolutely. Ab every time. Absolutely, yeah. bro. People cook the perfect steak, and then they cut right into it, and you see all the juice Blood. just yeah. spill out. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Let it rest, man. Right? Bro, let everything. it rest. If you make a roast or whatever, always make it rest. Uh, a brisket, it anything, bro. Yes. Anything, man. You got to fucking let it rest, bro. Yeah, for sure. For sure, man. But, yeah, it just started uh, working in a kitchen. I kind of liked it. And then I started cooking for my mom and my family and shit. And then, uh, you know, it, it gives you like that... It gives you that 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 fulfillment, you know, that especially with their gratitude towards you after you cook for them and little shit like that. And then it really came to me once I started working front of house. Mm -hmm. And then when I was working front of house, uh, especially at Bidete, they had us like doing like uh, pairing courses, okay. you know, for like whiskey, for yeah. wine and shit like mm -hmm. that. And then, all right, bro, I get into like uh, to like pairing, right? To like tasting wines or drinks with specific food and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And then I got even like more serious about it, right? Went on to doing my own courses, like on my own time and whatnot. And then this whole idea of hosting. Well, first of all, it's kind of embedded in like Persian culture. You know, hosting is, it's, it's really important. You know, it's like it you is. have people over... You, you make sure they bring nothing and they leave with everything. You yes, know, exactly. the experience, the food, everything. It's similar right? to Lebanese culture as well. Yeah, for sure, man. Always giving, always give gifts to uh, to the the people that they invite over and stuff. Yeah. It's very like very heartwarming culture. Of course, I, bro. I, I grew up, I all my like I grew up with around a lot of uh, you know uh, Arab friends. Yeah, and dude, like it's just it's so heartwarming and fun to go over. Oh, like, for sure, man. They take care of you, for like one hundred percent, dude. For sure, it's amazing. I had one of my boys this one time. He just slept over. And then he was sleeping on the couch with me. I was, like, wasted out of my mind. So I didn't think about it. I just went up to sleep. And then my mom saw him, like, early in the morning. And she put, like, a fucking blanket and, like, a, a pillow beside him. He grabbed the pillow, put it under his head. And, then, like, you know, he was sleeping on the couch with nothing. And then he woke up. And this is, like, a fucking thug, bro. This guy got, like, fucking shot and shit recently. Like, no, I swear to God. Like, fucking <laughs> real G, bro. And then... He, he, even nowadays, bro, when he sees me, he's like, remember that time I slept over? He's like, bro, your, your mom. Like, yeah. yeah, he's like, your mom, bro, came down, gave me a fucking pillow, gave me a blanket and shit. So if he ever commits a <clears throat> fel felony, you're good. I, I know I'm good. Yeah, 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 I know I'm good just because of my fucking mom, bro. This dude had never experienced that in his life. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, he was just sleeping over. He didn't know my mom. He'd never seen my mom ever. Mm -hmm. She just saw him sleeping on a couch with nothing. She said, that's not right. You get what I'm saying? But that's part of the culture, right? It it's a loving culture. Middle Eastern culture yeah. in general, yeah. right? People are lacking culture nowadays. Oh, bro, it's crazy, man. It's, it's bad. crazy. You know how far it can go just to take, just just that little thing your mom did, dude. Bro, it's so huge, man. So it takes, huge. what, two seconds Holding out of your a life? door open for somebody, bro. Holding a door open. I do bro, it all the time. All the time. And have you noticed that more people hold the door open for you recently? Not well, not really, recently, but since you did it, since you did it, bro. Yeah. I I kind of I kind of notice it, man. People hold the door open for me, and like Carbon, I won't. Man. Yeah, it really is, bro. Mm. And I I won't like let it go unnoticed. I'll tell them thank you every time, even if it's like three doors in a fucking row. I'll say thank you three times. Bro. Yeah. No cap, bro. I'll fucking walk behind them, yeah. say thank you, like to the point where they get tired of saying no, like you're me welcome. Yeah. You get what I'm Sometimes saying? I go on vacation, and it's just I say thank you every second word. Yeah, I saw that too. So. Yeah, the, the Instagram timer just started popping off. There you go. We got another yeah. follower. Oh, shit. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, you were saying you're on vacation. I'm on vacation and um, I say thank you way too much. You know, I realized after like, let's say like waitress comes. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Comes back. Gives me something else. Oh, thank you very thank much. You, yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Like, yeah. come on, dude. Yeah, but you're After in a good a while, mood. you realize, like, Jesus Christ. Like, yeah. how cringe is that, you know? But that's just the Canadian culture, I guess. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. But it's not just Canadian, you know? It's like you you were raised in a different way, too, yes. right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But no, I feel you, man. Ask, uh, ask Vince, bro, when we were in fucking Colombia, man. Uh, how was I, that? Talk about Colombia, man. Colombia was insane, bro. Colombia was something You just got else, back, right? Man. I just got back, like, a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. bro. Something else, man. That place is... Honestly... 
the one only thing that pisses me off is Colombian time. You get what I'm saying? Colombian time is... What do you mean? You ask for something... Or, or you ask for a service or anything, it's bro. It's like island time. It's island time, yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 <laughs> you get yeah, what yeah. I'm saying, bro? Yeah. It's, uh, it's whenever hey. they feel like it. You get what I'm saying? Give me a second, okay? We got fucking Rose from Titanic just uh, hanging out there. <laughs> <laughs> bro, this guy is so comfortable right now. It's comfy, I know, I'm fuck with it. It's comfy. I'm fuck with it. Hey, we take care of our audience, man. Oh, for sure, we take bro. Care of our audience. But he's got a whole bottle of JMO to himself, yeah. man. He's just chilling, hey, bro. Hey, life is good, man. He got a fucking Houston Astros hat on, dude. <laughs> Name one player, motherfucker. Chance, baby. Yeah, that's what World I thought. <laughs> right. That's funny. Don't dude, worry, I'm worse than that, bro. I just want to mention, too, okay? Look, okay? These are not hickeys. Okay, see this? Sure. Shut up, I right? fucking grappled the shit out of him yeah, before yeah. he got here, bro. Okay, shout out to my physio. Steve Murado, Steve, I love you, man. Thank you so much. He's been taking care of me for uh, a couple of years now. Um, he, I have a really bad back problem, and he takes care of me constantly. Uh, thank you very much. That is, you perform better health, okay? Yeah, sure. Hell yeah. So go follow him on all the um, platforms, for sure. He is a great physio, and if you're in the Gatineau, Ottawa uh, region, go see him, okay? He's worth it. He knows what he's talking about. And he's a great guy. And he's a big dude, so he'll do you good. I, look, dude, I tried multiple physios. I have nothing against them, okay? But I need somebody with power. Yeah, you can't have baby hands doing No, I can't, you, man. You know? I, need, no, no, no. I need to get knots sense. out. And yeah, so the back of the neck, uh, he, had, he, uh, he does a technique called gua sha. And gua sha is like this little plastic uh, scraper, I guess. And he, um, he scrapes your muscle. Um... To take off like all the scar tissue, I don't really understand it that so much, it but I think it's scar it? tissue. Yeah, yeah, um, it 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 helps uh, the blood flow th uh, flow properly through the mu uh, muscles. Okay, but does it actually remove like skin? Well, I mean, yeah, I guess if you're fucking like <laughs> it bruises, right? Well, so it's not just bruises, bro. You're fucking cut up and shit. No, 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 bro. I'm telling you, it's just bruises. It's, yeah? Uh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I my guess. My back right yeah, now. Yeah. I'll show you after. My back is covered. Dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It feels really good. Yeah, but I mean, eventually, right? Not during the session? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, like right now, it's feeling good, you know? <laughs> yeah. Complete, like, utter suffering, man. This guy is so rough on me, man. It's nuts. Yeah, but that's what you want, bro. Yes. That's what you want, yeah, man. You, know, you don't go to physio to have somebody, like, give you a, a like, basic, like, over-the-top massage, you know? You're trying to you get You want someone deep. to fix the problem. Exactly, Okay, bro. you don't want someone to, you know, Just push the problem out. away. Exactly. For another day or two, yes. right? Yeah. No, for sure, man. For sure. Mm. Hmm. You know, like, that's the thing, too. It's like people go to get massages and they're like, damn, I didn't get the chick. You're like, bro, like, it, it depends, you know, like, I'm not I'm not going to get into like very, like, very, like, sexist shit, you know, but like not even sexist. I'm just saying, like, I'm not trying to, like, push this into anything about like gender or anything. But like last time I went into like getting a massage. Mm hmm. I got this dude, bro, and he fucked me up so good. You bro. want happy ending? I mean, maybe with him because he was kind of hot, bro. I got Oh, nah, man. but for real, man, I went in with him, man. But he did me good, bro. But he did me so fucking good, man. And, like, he knew exactly what he was doing, bro. And, like, that was the <laughs> first time I ever got a massage, so I can't compare. You yeah, get what I'm saying? Absolutely. But a lot of yep. dudes are, like, they go into massages for, like, just to get, like, a chick to touch them and shit. You what? get what I'm saying? Yeah. Really? Yeah, bro. Are dudes you are serious? Like, of course, dude. Yeah, of course, bro. Of course. It's just, it's just, the, it's, it's like the sad reality, you know? Yeah, yeah. But it's like, bro, like, you're going in to get shit done. And, like, that's the thing, bro. Like, my cousin's a phys physio, bro. Yeah. And she's fucking busting ass right now, too. And her boyfriend, too. They're actually, like, that's how they met. Hey, it's you know? hard work, man. Bro, it's hard work. Yeah. And, yo, it's just one time. Shape. Actually, you know what? I'm lying, bro. Like, I got physio <laughs> done. Like, I got massages done. But it was, like, it wasn't, like, at a, at a specific spot. You get what I'm saying? It was my cousin at a fucking oh, Christmas okay. party. Okay. You know? And she fucked me up, bro. She, she fucked Damn. me up. Bro, like, that night, I had, like, trouble moving my arm. But the next day, bro, I felt so fucking good. And it's because, like, I had, like, I don't know how to explain it, but it was, like, too tight this way. You get yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And then she started doing, like, the back of, like, here. It's your shoulders, man. Yeah, bro, yeah. the back of my shoulders and shit. Like, all night, I just felt bad. And I was like, yo, Tanya, bro, you fucked me up, right? Mm -hmm. She's like, don't worry. Just wait it out. And the next day, bro, I woke up from bed feeling so fucking good, bro. Hmm. Legit, man. Yeah, of course. It really goes you with, You need like, to get work done. If you're working if you're working out constantly, you need to get work done. Oh, uh, at least some kind of work. And if, and, and if you don't stretch, too, like, come on, dude. Uh, yeah, you need to and I used to be that guy, bro. No I work know, done on me, no me stretching, too. none of that bullshit. I was like, yo, that's for pussies, pussies. But you know what, bro? It's for pussies while you're in your fucking prime and you can get over it. 
But man, fucking twenty to fucking twenty five happens so quick. The next thing you know, you're a, you're the bitch, bro. You know, you're 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 the bitch waking up feeling like fucking shite. You get what I'm saying? If you work out every day, it's gonna hit you like a ton of bricks, man. You gotta take care of yourself, bro. Yeah, yeah. You gotta take care mm-hmm. of yourself, man. Whether it's physio massages, fucking just stretching. Stretching is huge, bro. I have to. I've noticed that recently, man. I've been doing it, bro. And so you're gonna huge. realize that you, you won't be able to work out if you don't stretch. Yeah. You're gonna feel weird, a little yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And not just that, like once you're off, bro, you you're pushing big weights, you're done so, bro. Yeah. You're done so. I totally right? agree. Yeah. yeah, you stretch something bad, man. <laughs> Anyways, getting back to the fucking food, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's say hey. Yeah. Okay, you know what? Let's settle a debate right now. Yeah. Pineapple on pizza. What do you think about it? You know what, bro? Oh no. I can fuck with it. I can fuck with it. What do you think? Nah, this guy disgusting. doesn't. That's disgusting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you say? Okay. I tried it before, and the only thing I can't get over is the sweetness. Yeah, but have you been to Farinella's recently? Ever? Yes, of course. Dude, Farinella's. Shout yeah? out Farinella's. What about bro. their spicy honey? Yes, absolutely. Okay. But that's a different kind of sweet. <laughs> you get what you know? I'm saying? Yeah, okay. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I do get what you're saying. You I do get what, what you're saying? saying. Honestly, pineapple. Mango chutney. You get Ooh, what I'm saying? Okay, okay. Right? Yeah. Right? Fuck. Every now and then you need some sweetness in your food. That's Me, bro. A pineapple, bro. That's the thing. Hey, bro, listen, bro. I ate, li- I ate fucking live squid this one time, bro. Live yeah, yeah. fucking squid. Not that bullshit, like, fucking frozen squid that they no, fucking no. serve on your plate yeah, and yeah. put, like, electrolytes on it so it starts moving. Nah, bro. I went to this restaurant in fucking uh, Koreatown in Toronto, bro. Motherfucking chef came to our table with a live squid that was caught off the coast of Japan, bro. It was like $140 for the fucking plate. That was like fucking four years ago. Bro, started chopping this fucker up in front of us, okay? Put on a fucking bowl, and they like they gave, started giving a warning to my, my cousin, right? I went with my cousin, and he's like, nah, don't worry. It's not my first time, right? I'm like, all right. And I'm like, what was the warning? Mm-hmm. And he said, listen, you got to chew this shit properly, or else it's going to suction inside of your throat and cause you to, uh, like, make you asphyxiate, right? Mm-hmm. And you're done, so you're dead, bro. There's no way of getting it out. Bro, this shit was like, you'd try to pick it up, you'd pick up the whole fucking plate, bro, because it's suctioning on the plate. You get what I'm saying? And then you grab it finally in your chopsticks, right? Mm -hmm. And then it's sucking on your chopstick, right? So then you'd have to dip it in the fucking soy sauce. I know this guy's cringing hard, bro. This guy's never been through this shit. I don't know, man. I think it's 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 the part about sucking on your chopstick. I think that hey, was bro, the... Hey, bro, not just sucking, man. Sucking and chewing, bro. Like, it's like, yeah. it's like, it's something fucking weird. But listen, bro, I'm, I'm, you know what? To me, man, food is a culture. It's part of the culture. Yes. Right? And yes. you always got to, like, try different things, right? Yeah. Especially if you want to be a better human being, you got to be open to everything. The thing that you know makes me saying? cringe the most is picky eaters. Yeah. My ex was like that, bro. I used to be like that as a kid. I no was in seafood, the, no mushrooms, man. Fuck out of here, bro. I'm I not was taking in the hot you dog, anywhere. Hot dog and craft dinner club, you know what I mean? Yeah, but you fuck know what? That. I fuck with hot dog and craft dinner too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but not every meal. You not see that guy meal. who ate it for like 18 years? No. Nah. Uh, you, you didn't see that? You no. know, like TLC has like this like my strange addiction, whatever. Hot dog and craft dinner for no, 18 no, years. No, no, just craft dinner. For 18 years. Yeah, it wasn't even craft dinner. It was the Velveeta kind, dude. Velveeta cheese, dude. That's fucking orange leather, dude. <laughs> was he was he like overweight or was he like honestly not that much? Looked pretty good. Really? So maybe, hey. Maybe some people it's a lie. are built different, bro. <laughs> nah, for real. Some people are built yeah, different. True. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, some yeah. people smoke like fucking 300 cigarettes f- for like a week, you know? Yeah. And be alive for like 90 years compared to like some people who smoke a few packs for like a year or two. Not even then... secondhand smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They get lung cancer done. Bro, my neighbor, bro, he used to smoke like a motherfucker, right? <laughs> and then his wife got cancer. She never smoked of her life. He used to smoke inside and shit. They say secondhand smoke is worse it's than... Worse, yeah. It's weird. worse, bro. It's worse. But you know what? It's I think it's because you're not adapting your body to it. And you're just getting like, you get what I'm saying? When so you, if you're smoking a cigarette, you're microdosing your body into nicotine? Kind of. Yeah. You, you, buddy, the human body adapts to everything, right? Absolutely. Right? So it kind of makes sense, right? You're mm-hmm. adapting your body to it on like a, a long-term basis. Yeah. Compared to somebody who hasn't had any. And then they, they get into a relationship with somebody who smokes like, because, you know, you don't marry. Well, I mean, them maybe because they were like Persian, mm-hmm. right? They p- may be married young. But... People start smoking, especially like Persians, bro. Like back in the days in Iran, bro, they started smoking at like 13, 14, right? Dude, Quebec too. Yeah, yeah, Kidding Quebec me? too. Buddy, in high school, I was fucking smoking cigarettes, yeah, man. Too. So we all did, dude. It's crazy, we bro. We all did. Didn't yeah. you? Did you? I love cigarettes. 
Yeah, exactly. There you, go. <laughs> there you go. I can't do it now, man. I can't do it at all. I can't, bro. I can't do it at all. Even I those vapes, I can't do vapes either. Nah, well, yo, that's crazy, bro. When I was in Colombia, I was sucking down vapes like a motherfucker, bro. I do cigars. If I'm, like, if I'm oh, drinking, bro, I'll have a cigar. Monte no Cristos all day. Yeah, there you go. Fucking vapes, bro. I was, we were doing this fucking hike, man. I was blasted you off were the vaping. shroom. You were what? I was, I was blasted off the psychedelics, right? You took, shroom, you took shrooms in uh, in Colombia? Yeah, that I said, bro, the whole shebang, man. Everything. Jesus yeah, Christ, yeah. buddy! The trip. first Literally. four days, the first yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The first four days we were in Colombia, bro. We were on fucking psychedelics, bro. I was dissociating a hundred percent, bro. We we're walking through this fucking crazy hike, right? This hike, man, is like basically it's like a locals hike, right? There's like the normal like uh, the tourist hike that like they take you to. It's in Tayrona Park, right? You ask them for the hike, they take you to this entrance. Lots of vendors, lots of bullshit, you know, and then like this long, yeah. long, like fucking wide hike, you know, like mm -hmm. wooden, wooden, like uh, shores and shit where you walk on and whatnot and then stairs and whatnot. And then we're like, nah, this isn't where we're going. And then we're like, take us to the other hike. And to a lot of locals, they kind of, um, they pretend it doesn't exist because they don't want you to know. You know what mm. I'm saying? Because it's a very dangerous hike, bro. Like, it's super tiny. It's ups and downs, very steep and shit. So you're and like, you know what? I'm going to do a shit ton of psychedelics and try it. Listen, I I didn't think it was going to hit that hard. But yeah. Yeah, pretty the much. The hike or the psychedelics? <laughs> Both. <laughs> but, yo, Both we fun. end up going there, bro. It's like a 20-minute, like, motor, like, bike ride, like, motorcycle, mm -hmm. right? So Scooter? They, no, it was actual oh, okay, motorcycles, okay, okay, okay. but it was like 125s, you know, okay. like like smaller motorcycles. Yeah, yeah. But he had like trouble pulling me up at some points during like super steep hikes, you know, with like his uh, in first gear, you know, and it was just <laughs> me and him. And, and the whole time, this guy's like fucking hug me, hug me. I'm like, bro, like I'm good back here. You yeah, know chill, what I'm chill, saying? dude, chill. He's like, no, no, hombre, hombre. He's like, amigo, amigo. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, put your arms around, put him around. And be Show like, me amor, you know. <laughs> Show me amor. And bro, we get up there, man. Yeah. And then we're about to like go through the hike, and I swear to God, there was like fucking uh, what's it called, um, like natives, bro. Like, like legit natives, man. Like, like tribesmen, butt naked, machete in hand, bro. <laughs> Sure, they're not like just meth heads. No, they were straight. <laughs> you never. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. They were straight up natives, bro. Okay, okay, like okay. you could see it in them, bro. Yeah, yeah. Hey, but you naked. Know, bro. You don't know. No, okay? no, no. Sometimes... Like, bro, this place was like secluded, bro. Okay. Fucking twenty minute oh. bike ride okay, up the that. up the hill. Okay, you know I thought what I'm you were like outside of like Medellin. Or no, 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 <laughs> okay. no. This place was like stupid okay. de secluded. Okay. To the point Makes where like sense. Vince. Vince is like, he sees this little stall, right? With like this guy who's like half native. Like, you get what I'm how saying? How can I fuck up this situation? No, no, he's mm. like, he I sees the me? sign that says, <laughs> yes. he sees a sign that says cafe, like coffee, right? Yeah, yeah. He's like, uh, oh no, espresso, por favor. He's like, espresso. He's like, what? And then he points to the coffee beans and he's like, that's all we got, bro. <laughs> Vince thought it was like ready made coffee. You get what I'm saying? First like, world problems. Yeah, this seriously. isn't a fucking Starbucks, dude. Seriously. What do you mean? <laughs> I want a grande frappuccino. <laughs> no froth. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's for, the name is Meech, okay? Meech. <laughs> Yo, K? something K? else, bro. Not that K. place is fucking Meech. crazy, bro. And then we start walking down the hike, bro. It's like it's like one person wide. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Like stupid steep, bro. Stupid, like it, it was crazy shit, bro. And then like as soon as you start the hike, there's this huge sign that says, watch out for leopards. Right? What? Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. Like yeah. Lep like fucking leopards, bro. There's fucking leopards in the cocksucking jungle, bro. And then I'm tripping balls and I'm like, nah, this ain't it, bro. And the boys are like, it's too late. We gotta we gotta commit, right? So I'm like, all right. We push through the thing. Did you see a leopard? Nah, but uh, we saw yeah. we saw like whatever the fuck, everything else, serpents, monkeys. But think about it. You, you probably want. didn't see the leopard. But the, no, le exactly. the leopard saw you. Exactly. Motherfucker. That's what I was telling oh, the boys. Yeah. That's what I was telling the boys. They're like, yo, what if we see a uh, leopard? I said, listen, bro. You're not gonna see it. If we see it, it's too late. It's too you get what I'm saying? It's too late, right? Yep. Cause it, they're like they're fucking uh, they're, what's cats, dude. They're, they're cats, bro. Mm -hmm. They see you for like an hour. They follow you for an hour, and then once the time is right, they'll fucking snatch the last person out back. Even with... a house cat, man, it'll play with a fucking mouse or like a bird for hours. It'll stalk yeah, it and shit. It's yeah, the yeah. same concept, bro, but you're the bird. Dude. Cats are like apex predators, yeah, bro. Yeah, Legit. absolutely. And like, bro, we 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 started watching videos after that about fucking leopards, bro. They're fucking <laughs> snatching up caimans in the fucking river, bro. <laughs> I did see that video. Crazy, that bro. Video. Like a minute underwater, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wrestling with the cocksucker, and then they 
step out yeah. with like fucking uh, caimans, like fucking baby alligators, whatever the fuck you want to call it. But bro, that shit's got fucking skin as hard as fucking wood, bro. <laughs> yeah. You know? And this cocksuck is walking out with it like it's nothing, bro. Like a happy cat, you know, just <laughs> prancing yep. around. I got like, a mouse. What the fuck? Yeah. Right, instead of a mouse, it's a, you know, a 150 yeah. pound gator. Yeah, exactly, yeah. bro. And I'm tripping fucking balls and the boys are pushing me through. And, bro, for the first four days, man, I was straight up dissociating with everything, bro. Like, mm. that's how fucked we were, bro. Like, one of my boys said, Ricky is like, he's like, man, I can't believe we're in the jungle. And I'd be, like, looking around. And I'm like, yeah, bro, I think I can't believe we're in fucking Colombia right now. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But it was such a good vibe because, like, I remember everything completely. Nice. You well, know? that's a good thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it was, like, such a sick vibe. And also the thing is with, like, psychedelics, it, it helps you, like, kind of, it kind of grounds you, you know? Humbles you. Ego Make, check. Yeah, exactly, mm -hmm. man. Makes you realize how good you got life out here. You know what I'm saying? For the longest time and out here, bro. there's more to bro, life than just yeah, what you see. Exactly, bro. Mm -hmm. out, out here, bro, like when I'm here, man, I'm always grinding to be like better than somebody else, to, to be able to like flex on somebody else, to get a fucking tennis chain or some bullshit to match this fucking watch. I'm like, what the fuck is that? You Once I'm back. My aunt used to always tell me, you can't take it with you. Exactly, you can't bro. take it with Well, I mean, you. that being said, I'd like to get buried in a Bentley instead of a coffin. Absolutely. You got what I'm saying? You can't take it with you, bro. But you can't take it with Enjoy you to life. the afterlife. Exactly. Enjoy life. Exactly. What, you're going to save up all your life and then be 70 and, years old yeah. with no energy at no all? No energy. But with like 10 million in Nobody the bank loves account? you. Who cares? Who cares? No, yeah, no one around you to take care of you except the people you fucking paid to take care of exactly, you. Exactly, man. You know what I'm saying? Or people S who are, are profiting off you to, to steal money or whatever. Yeah, you know man. what I mean? Spend on the people you care about. Yeah, spend on experiences, bro. Experiences, yourself bro the people you care about and the people you care about should definitely include you mm. you know what i'm saying a lot yes. of people are like too too giving and shit but they don't think about themselves how can you love someone else if you can't love yourself that's such a good point bro it's like how could you expect somebody to blow you if you wouldn't blow yourself you know what i'm saying marilyn manson shit but yeah but you're right <laughs> no, but i'm saying like, you know <laughs> yeah you're right it kind of makes sense right damn i haven't thought about it that way i'm gonna try to not think about it that, that way yeah but... well don't think about it that way i'm just saying you know if you don't have confidence in yourself you can't expect people to want to fuck you, you yeah know what I'm hey saying? Farce, bro cheers man <laughs> cheers my friend cheers hey what's your go-to drink uh mm -hmm. take a sip right now gin soda pretty much yeah eh? uh, every day anywhere i go uh any bar i'll just <laughs> every, <have> day. <laughs> every day <laughs> You alcoholic fuck. No, I'm not I rarely like that. drink. I rarely drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm dead serious. I rarely drink. Yeah, Only no, I know. Me too. Especially now that I'm back in Canada, bro. It's different, man. Mm -hmm. It's really different, bro. Over there, I was drinking. I don't drink tequila out here. You know what I'm saying? Patron? Over there. No, just... Oh, yeah, Patron on ice. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something higher class, you know? Did you ever try Terramana? No. Bro. Yeah? I'm telling you. I'm, I love tequila. I love tequila. I'm, I'm a tequila... Uh, I'm very picky with, with my tequila. Yeah. Terramon is pretty good, man. Yeah, proper tequila that doesn't taste like fucking rubbing alcohol, right? If you can drink it straight, perfect. Yeah, yeah, if especially if it's like chill. good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. Mm. I had this, uh, fuck, I forgot, the Michael Jordan What? I bought it at the border when Michael I came back Jordan? from. Yeah, Michael Jordan has a has a fucking Cinquero. Cin, cin, yo, Google it, bro. Yes, Michael on, Jordan's Jamie. tequila. I don't, oh, Pull wait. it up, Jamie. I, yeah, Jamie, Google it. But yeah, Michael Jordan has his own tequila, right? And I didn't know that. I bought it at... Um, at the border when I was coming back from New York. And it was just like a high-class bottle. I said, fuck it, I'll get it. Sin oh, yeah, Sin Coro. Sin Coro. Yeah, so I just bought it there. And it was like, uh, I think like uh, 60 or 70 USD came out to like 100 here. Hmm. And then I looked it up at the SAQ. It was like 170, some shit like that. It was like double the price. Hey, yo, Google, um, Google the different like uh, celebrities, different um, like different drinks that celebrities have. Yo, fucking, uh, what's it called? Casa Amigos is... Uh, and what? there's uh, Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds has the aviation. Aviation. Gym. Casamigos and is uh, George Clooney. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. A lot of the, people have drinks, hey, man. I'm just good. Okay. Patron. I. Who? Who owns Patron? Let me check. This motherfucker. <laughs> Bro, have the information on hand when you, he's not jamie you, bro he's not jamie he's gonna fucking learn because he, he, <laughs> he might be he might be he might be he might be cameron will you accept uh to be my jamie yeah for sure bro that was a yeah, so total bro, lie, <laughs> such a lie. Total it's lie, like bro. when he says yeah he's i'll be there at 6 30 right <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> i'm at 6 20 yeah okay dude the yeah, next right. day bro Jesus, 6.20, island time, island, island time, <laughs> Colombian time, bro, I fucking hate Colombian time so much, but apart from yeah. that, I love the place, man, I, I understand the, um, I understand, like, 
we live in a, cap- a capitalist society, okay? So, like, we want everything now. Yeah, you know we're what on I mean? time. You get Come on, on hurry up. You know what I mean? I understand, but if you're on vac- like in my opinion, if you're on vacation, you're on vacation. Yeah, yeah. Like, when in time. Rome, do what the Romans do. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Spain was like that too. Yeah, yeah. Spain was sure. like that too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're up, bro. You yeah. walk into a restaurant, you're sitting there for three hours minimum. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You sit down, they ask you for a drink first after like 10 minutes of you sitting down, right? Because yeah. they're, they're expecting you to wait for people to come, right? Exactly. And then once, and once you sat down... they don't rely on tips. No, no, no. Because it's first of all, it's already... Uh, there's a gratuity, yes. right? Already. But also, it's just like, it's part of the culture. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It really is. And then, like, you sit down, bro, for 10 minutes, and then they come ask you for a drink, and then they serve you that. They come back in like 20, 30 minutes, and then... They ask you if you want another drink, and then while they ask you for that, they're like, have you thought about appetizers? You know what I'm saying? Or like when they bring you back the drinks, they're Mm -hmm. like, have you thought about appetizers, you know? Because, bro, you sit there for at least 45 minutes just drinking and socializing before you start eating. Here, bro, people, man, when I used to work front of house, people would come in, and they'd be like, yo, listen, I got 20 minutes, bro. Can you get me a drink and some food? I said, listen, you're at the wrong place. You're not going to get your food in 20 minutes, you know? Like, there's just no way, bro. People come here and they come to the restaurant and everything's like, go, go, go. And that I don't like, you know? No. Like, uh, don't get me wrong. To me, it's just like when it comes to, like, professional shit. You get what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. very, like, business-wise, mm-hmm. you know? But, like, restaurant-wise, leisure-wise, bro. Chill. Chill, bro. Take your fucking time. It's, yeah. And I think that's kind of why, like, people there are less stressed. You know? I, I, I saw that as well. Less stress, mm-hmm. less bullshit, bro. They don't get aggravated so quickly. No. You know? I love the European mindset. Oh, I fell in love with Europe, man. Like I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up living in Europe for oh, sure. Oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Eventually, dude. yeah, eventually. Yeah. Get through this uh, Canadian grind, and then fuck. Especially the weather, else. bro. Weather is so mild, man. Especially I don't know if you noticed. Cold here, man. Yeah, I don't know if you've noticed. It's mm-hmm. just like dry over there. There's no humidity. I love so, it. So, bro, you're out in the fucking sun. You're roasting, bro. As soon as you're in the shade, Fine. chill, Bill. Yeah. yeah. If here, you have bro, AC there too, you're goaded, man. Bro, you're good for life. Yeah, man. Absolutely. Here, bro, even if you're in the shade, bro, you're yeah. sweating fucking balls because of the fucking humidity. I don't mm-hmm. know where the fuck it comes from, bro. Yeah. It just comes from And they fucking... got good, like, like drunk snacks. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, when the bar's done, you know, oh, you can yeah. go out and have, like, a nice, like, I don't know, like, um, in Spain, they had um, the cro- croquetas. What's it's like that? those little, it's like deep fried, um, uh, like, balls of, like, um, like meat and cheese kind yeah of like just... the ham and cheese and shit yeah wow. yeah, yeah. Nuts, it's not man. the crepes on every fucking corner the crepes and waffles bro yeah, yeah, yeah. i fuck with that hard wow. buddy just what's when... your go-to drunk snack like of all time like when you're like let's say dude you're blacked out drunk okay you're like dude i want one thing in my system right now what is it yo listen bro if i could get anything man i'd probably go for like proper pastas or like a good steak that being said being in the shithole we are here right now my go-to most of the time, you know, cause it really is a fucking shithole. But in, in, in Ottawa, there's no more 24-hour rest diners, bro. What? No, Zax? bro. Zach's is only open from Thursdays to Saturdays, 24 hours. That's it. Before, it used to be all week. And there used to be Perkins, too, bro. Ooh. That used to be my go-to because I'd go get breakfast. My, my, actually, you know what? Yeah, my go-to is breakfast any time of the day. Yes. You know? Yo, I go Denny's, to Perkins. Bro. Denny's, yeah. you hit it like a grand slam. Yeah, with like bro. Some pancakes. That is, is pretty Denny's good. Is Denny's twenty four? Used to be. Used to be. Yeah, yeah. So yo, I'd go to Perkins, bro, all the way in Saint Laurent, man. Get myself three eggs, bacon, ham, uh, sausages, fucking pancakes, the whole fucking mm. shebang, bro. I'd ham out on that shit, and then I'd sleep for like fucking eight, nine hours, you know? Because mm. you already had breakfast. Yeah. You wake up, you just drink water. You get what mm. I'm saying? Yeah. Your hangover is done for, right? Yeah. <laughs> What's your go-to snack, man? Yeah, you're drunk snack. Uh, I'm usually not that hungry when I drink, but like, you... uh, <laughs> you're an absolute idiot. Yeah, go ahead. Pizza, bro. Just pizza. Start, just nice and simple, you know? Yeah, but from where? The only 24 hours. The where, only like, place you should get pizza, pizza, pizza from pizza? close to here. Pizza, pizza. No, I'm dude. just saying 24 hours. Pizza, pizza is no, fucking no, no, no. cardboard. I know it's bro. fucking cardboard, oh, bro. I hit this shit. It is called. <clears throat> It is called La Spezia. Yeah. La Spezia, if you want mad pizza, out. mad shout out. Mad I shout love out. the whole family who runs it, okay? Shout out to La Spezia. Yeah, okay? not just pizza, bro. They got the whole shebang, man. Lebanese guys, beautiful people. Proper. Proper food. Proper. Proper food. La Proper. Spezia, okay? If you ever have the chance, right off ahead. plateau, yo. Yep. Yeah. Man, honestly, my. Yeah, what's yours? Sorry, I forgot to ask. Bro. No, it's okay. I'm just going to say it. Wendy's, bro. 
Yeah? I don't really like yeah, fast food. Yeah, but is food. it open 24 No, 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 no. But it's a go-to drunk snack for yeah. sure. Uh, Wendy's, man, uh, what I do, usually I get like a junior bacon cheese and with like some fries on the side with a Frosty. Okay, then you take the fries and you dip you it in the dip frosting. It up. Yeah. Man, I'm telling you, man, <laughs> yeah. it is the best combination yeah, ever. Yeah, yeah. Try it. I've been there. No, Try I've it. been there. I've been there. I, I, I can't remember who it was, man. I, I, I was like, this one time, bro, like way back, man, we were smoking dupes and then we went to McDonald's. And then this one dude got like fries and a fucking vanilla milkshake and he started dipping it into there. Yes. And I looked at this dude like, what like, are you doing? You know, I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you, bro? Mm -hmm. And they said, try it. And my life changed on the spot. I told you. But yep. you know what? What? Pineapples on pizza. Same concept. No, Sweet no, and salty, no, no, bro. No. Sweet and salty, bro. Uh, listen, yeah, listen, okay. listen, right, listen. Right, I'm not, I'm not taking it all the way to pineapples on pizza. I'm just saying sweet and salty is something else, bro. Yeah. It, it really is. is. It really is. Bro, you dip that fucking hot fry in that cold milkshake, man. <sighs> I'm just looking at you with sexy eyes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bro? Parks, really don't is, try bro. too hard, baby. I'm right here. Don't I'm, right here. <laughs> I'm hey. trying to reach on the fucking table, but it's like yeah. my foot doesn't reach. <laughs> hey, but, I yo, made you some money too last week, huh? Yeah, bro. How did Big that feel? Time. Yo, that was something else, man. First time betting on fucking uh, sports. sports. Yeah. Cool. Well, I mean, like, yeah. I wasn't going to say first time betting, but yeah. First time yeah, betting on, on sports. sports. On sports, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. First time How ever. How did it feel? It was something else, bro. First time watching the fucking, uh, what's it called? The the Super Bowl. Super Bowl, yeah. It's the, the first time. Yeah, I never watched that shit hey, fully. Now one, every year, you got to. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to follow your bets, man. Thank bro, you. If ever you guys need bets to follow and make money, <laughs> my man Johnny right here has got it, bro. Brother. He's got the Johnny fucking P. thing, Thank bro. Thank you so much. Okay? This guy made me so much money out hey. off, off of nothing, bro. Off of fucking nothing. I put like... I don't know, like 40, 50 bucks in. The The only sad part is I put it on the wrong, like, betting site. So I didn't make, like, as much in terms of um, multiplying. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But apart from that, bro, like, you made me fucking bank, bro. Yeah, man. Bank. If I would have put it on your site, I would have made yeah, absolutely stupid bank. So we're in Canada. Uh, honestly, the best sporting app in the world right now is FanDuel. Okay? In Quebec, we don't have access to FanDuel. What about Ontario, Ontario? You do. Ontario. No oh, yeah, shit. Yeah. You go to Ottawa, no problem. No shit. No problem. FanDuel is the best app to uh, to bet on. Absolutely, they have the best odds. They, you can bet on everything, dude. But number two is Bet Three Six Five. Yeah. I think it's only in Canada, or is it? I don't know. But I anyway, did, I did uh, MGM or some shit. MGM, like yeah. the casino MGM. I guess so, bro. But uh, it's because I'm in Ontario, right? Okay, okay. You I could have done FanDuel. Yeah. Now you know FanDuel is the best, dude. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Now I know. Yeah. Now I know. Uh, how much you make? You made me like three, three something, bro. Nice. And that's because I didn't bet enough because I put too much on no Gatorade, bro. Fucking no okay. Gatorade, man. All they right. spilled the fucking bro. Gatorade. Fuck that Gatorade shit, If you shit, ever bro. bet on the Super Bowl and you see a no Gatorade bet, just ignore that one. Unless, unless you know, it hits. <laughs> yeah, that's gambling, dude. That's, yeah, gambling. that's gambling. That's gambling. That's gambling. Uh, I made it's about, a, let's say, I Yeah, did, you made um, stupid bank, eh? I put 70 bucks in total. And I made thirteen hundred. Fuck me. The so ass, I won on bro. the coin toss. I co I won on the parlay that uh, that you and uh, that you and Cam. Uh, Mwah, chef's kiss, yeah, bro. man. Chef's so, kiss. Huge parlay, and I hit on a AJ Brown and Kadarius Tony anytime touchdown. So uh, I love betting on sports, dude. I've been doing it ever since the pandemic. Yeah, but you know your shit too. You know well, what I'm study, saying? Yeah, right? exactly. Like, I'm a I'm exactly. a freak when it comes to information yeah. and knowledge. So yeah. like it, it it goes good with sports. Yeah, exactly. You know. So I study my bets, and breaking news, guys, next football season, I am going to start a sports betting podcast. It okay. is going to be only in French, though, so I can hit my French uh, sure. audience, okay? Sure. And it's going to be pretty much this, but in French, okay? We're going to have boys on. We're going to talk shit. Uh, we're going to talk about the week in sports, how it went, and uh, we're going to give our bets out for the week. So it's literally sports betting. We're going to talk about the odds, talk about different spreads, but it's honestly mostly going to be about football. Yeah, yeah. It makes that's sense because that's what you specialize in. Yeah, right? dude. I know football more than anything. Bro, like, you've been playing since what age? Uh, I stopped at like 19, 20, I guess. And wh when did you start? 
seven. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. But you got experience, and and when you stopped, you didn't stop watching. Never, right? never. Yeah, and that's why I had like fucking confidence in you. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> hey, bro? That's I lost what I'm a, saying. I lost a lot of money too. Yeah, but yo, that was my first time ever betting on sports, bro. And I did literally all the fucking bets that you did. Mm-hmm. The only difference is I put on fucking no Gatorade, cock sucking purple or, or Gatorade. Bro. <laughs> but anyways. Yeah. Anyways, I, I was told by somebody that it might it might happen. I said, okay, it's going to happen, right? Yeah. But, yeah, bro, you fucking made me, you made me bonk, bro. Straight cash, man. Hey, man, me. follow me on Instagram and you will... Uh, oh, yeah, follow my boy Johnny and you'll make bank, bro. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't really know about basketball. Like, I love basketball. I love ba- basketball. is like my second favorite sport, I guess. Sure. Well, footy too, man. I love soccer. Soccer's yeah. fun too. I made some good money off soccer too. Um, honestly, guys... All the soccer fans are going to hate me right now, okay? Ronaldo or Messi? Messi. Right. 1,000%. Are yeah, you kidding yeah, me? It's yeah, not yeah. even a different... It's not I even know, comparable. I know, I know. But Drake, Drake some, said some stupid shit recently. I just want to What the fuck does Drake up. know, bro? I don't know, bro. He knows dicks and good music. That's all he knows. <laughs> hey, he does make bangers. I'm going to give him that. Yeah. He does make bangers. I'm bangers. a huge uh, Drake fan, bro. okay? You should take care of the Raptors more because the Raptors are doing pretty bad, man. Fuck me, yeah. bro. Fuck yeah. me. And I'm moving there too, man. Fuck yeah. me. Hey, what what's going on? Hey, Cam, do you know any yeah. updates on the uh, NHL season? What's going on now? Who's the hottest team? And NBA, NHL, what's going on? NHL, bro. Uh, what's going on? Tampa are good. Tampa? I don't know, bro. I, I'm not... Because, like, NHL follow, season for I me... I follow, like, the leaderboard. I follow, like, individual games. I don't know... Like, I know who's good, but I don't know... I okay. Don't know who's hmm. Good. Yeah, it makes sense. Because I would like, because right now, for me, NHL season, NBA season just started for me. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm going to bet on it for sure. And yeah. I also bet on March Madness. College yeah. basketball, the whole month of March is like this whole, this huge tournament. You can make some pretty good money, man. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. For sure. Yeah. Bro, buddy, I saw everything you can fucking bet on. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck, yeah. man? Like, uh, sorry, uh, b- back to soccer. Uh, yeah. Soccer, um, uh, the thing is, between the two teams, the name that you recognize the most yeah. is the team that's gonna win. And if, yeah, it makes sense. Honestly, if you like, if you could, if we would go through some spreads right now, you'd be like, okay, like you could actually like, it's pretty easy to gauge. To be honest, sure. You know, yes, anything can happen. Of course, of course, of and, course. Uh, soccer, like anything, right? Yeah, soccer has a draw no bet. What's so that? you can bet on that, and if the game is uh, like it's a, a draw match, like uh-huh. one to one or two to two to whatever, right. You get like your bet is, is canceled, so you don't lose money. You get your okay. money back. Okay, okay, that's more favorable. You know. Yeah, what I mean? no, cause uh, that's what I was asking. Like as I said, it was the first fucking uh, what's it called Super Bowl that I yep. was watching. Yep. And I was asking my uncle. I'm like, yo, do these end in draws? Is that a possibility? No, not football. <laughs> this guy just looks at me and he has the biggest smile ever. I'm like, don't answer. Don't worry. Yeah. So it goes into overtime, and overtime, well, they, they do the same thing like in, like in the beginning of the game, like heads or tails, to see who um, who wants the ball or not. Okay. And the first one to score wins. Buddy, I was so fucking lost, man. I was so fucking lost watching that. Football sh- is... Bro, I was um, so... It's so technical, bro. Yeah. So technical. Motherfuckers were in the middle, fucking, like, literally the whole fucking team of both sides, on both sides, just... Pushing up against each other. I'm like, what mm-hmm. the fuck is the point of that? Like, push the ball back or, like, fucking throw it or some shit, right? No, I don't know what that o- is. If you only got... Because you only got... You you have... You technically have uh, a three or four tries to uh, get a first down. That's 10 yards, okay? And if you're, like, one yard away... There's a better chance of you getting it if you run the ball than if you pass the ball, okay? What's running? That's the... Yeah, well, when someone gets the ball, you know what I mean. Like they don't, they don't pass the ball to someone. You know what I mean. It's a, it's a run. And the Eagles, what they did all game was the quarterback would just take the ball and fucking just follow the big guys and go right ahead. You know what I mean? Right. And it works. It works a lot. You know. Yeah, it makes sense. But yeah. what I'm talking about is when all these fuckers were all together, you know, and then they just all clashed together. You got, it was like one big group on both sides, and they just clashed together on the line. Yeah, that, that's that's a, a quarterback sneak, you call it. Yeah, so it's just like a – it looks like a rugby play kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 pretty much. It's just that the, like, everybody's trying to get to the quarterback, right, and the quarterback's right in the middle, but uh-huh. the quarterback's just trying to get, like, like fucking a yard. A yard is like Okay, what, yeah, like a yard is what? Um, yeah. a, a little bit more than a meter, right? Less. Less? Okay. I, oof, I don't know. Less, then, I guess. Jamie, pull that up. <laughs> How long is a yard? <laughs> a yard is like – no, just see he, over he's over. talking over his yeah, no, yeah. No. Jamie, be a Jamie, bro. Yeah, come on, man. Camry. <laughs> Camry. Toyota Camry. <laughs> Please, boss. Hey, this JMO is going down really good, man. Yeah, yeah, big time, bro. Yep. How much? I got to go get some Thai food later, bro. 
I love Thai food. You like oh, Thai food? Yeah. 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 Papaya salad. Is I've my never favorite. tried that. Yeah. What? Yeah. Bro, they like they like shred the papaya no and they make it like a a tangy coleslaw. So they okay. use like fish sauce and yeah, like yeah, yeah. bro. Yeah, bananas. that shit must be busting. Yo. Oh yeah. Buddy, when I was in Colombia, man, I tried everything. Arepas, everything. Arepas, yeah, for sure, for sure. That's a, that's a classic, right? Yeah, exactly. Arepas, uh, chin chin, whatever. It's uh, with the the pork chin, meat. Chin chin. Whoa. No, no, whoa, no. The whoa. Chinka, whatever the fuck. Chica. The chinga tomato. No. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It was um, chinka. I can't remember exactly, but it was it was like the national <laughs> Yo, dish. Be careful what you're saying. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> but it was the the national dish, which is like uh, it's arepas. It has uh, fried potatoes and then um, what's it called? Fried uh, uh, pork with the uh, with the skin on. You know okay. what I'm saying? And then they fry the skin so that's chicharron. Skin. Chicharron. Oh, there you chicharron. go. Chicharron. There you go. Chicharron's there you go. good. Yeah, it's busting, bro. It's yeah. busting. We actually tried it the first time at like a shitty hostel. Well, I mean. It, it, it wasn't a shitty hostel. The food was shitty. The hostel was fucking dope, bro. It had rooftops and everything. It was uh, Lost Rooftops uh, okay. Hostel. It was fucking sick, bro. I think it was relatively cheap. You could get like a, if, if you're going with your shorty or whatever, it's like uh, 80 bucks a night, hmm. you know, Canadian. But they have like Worth sick it. views. Yeah, right in Medellin. Well, Medellin, as the locals say. And then uh, you have sick views on the whole city, right? It's a rooftop bar and everything, bro. It's It's nice. But then they had this chicharron, and it was like, um, it was really, it was not well made, bro. Like, the, the skin was tough, bro. Like, super tough, you Gross. know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we had this other experience where we went to Cartagena, mm -hmm. and then we were at this five-star restaurant, right? And then uh, they offered the chicharron, and then we were kind of like, you know, like, kind of off. But they said, listen, bro, like, they started talking to us. They said, this is the one to go, right? Mm. We had it, man. Something else, bro. Something else, man. So, what's your um, like? What's your favorite city in uh, Colombia? Like, where'd you man, go? It's hard. It's hard to say. To live in, I'd say Medellin. Medellin, bro. It's known as this the mm -hmm. city of uh, eternal spring. So during the day, it's like, and this is year round. Okay, during the day, it's mm. like twenty to twenty five tops, and wow. then at night, it's like fifteen degrees. 15 degrees Is Medellin in the mountains or Bogota in the mountains? So Medellin is between the mountains. It's a mountain range that goes all around. You deal with altitude? No, you're like, well, first of all, I think you're 1,500 meters over sea level. Okay. And then the mountain range goes to the highest, I think, 3,800 meters over sea level. Okay. So you're like between the mountain range, right? Okay. And the airport is up top. So you know, like when you're in the you're in an airplane and you're landing, you get this pressure differential yeah, in your yeah. ears and shit. Ears pop, right, right. Yeah. And then you get the same thing, but like very minimally when driving from the airport down to the city because it's so high up. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, you're yeah. dropping like a thousand meters in altitude, like a cloud in altitude, right? It takes like 30, 40 minutes to get to the city, hmm. right? But man, it's something else. And bro, you get there and it looks so huge. It looks so big, bro. Ricky was like, man, this place has to be more populated than fucking Montreal, but it's not. Hmm. I think it's like 1.8 or like 2.2 million uh, in, in terms of population. Is Medellin the biggest city? No, 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 no. I think Bogota is the biggest city. Yeah. Yo, Bogota, supposedly we were in Cartagena, right? Cartagena is like Miami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Except dirt cheap, bro. Yeah. Dirt fucking wow. cheap, bro. And it's so nice, man. It's so beautiful. Vince said that, well, Mich, Mich said that, um, that Medellin had the prettiest girl he's ever seen in his life. Is that true? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I miss that place, bro. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was crazy, bro. You I thought, you honestly, I'm going to be honest, okay? Usually, Canadian girls are in the top. I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah. Canadian girls are in the top. Yeah, until you travel. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. Every t every country I went to, it was kind of better. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah bro. I Europe, Iceland, man. Dude, Iceland, okay? Really? All the girls were blonde. Oh, and man. they were, like, like fit. Like, in shape. Man. All Viking women, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if Pure I go blood, back there, like I will have blood. Thor in person. Yeah. I want a Viking child. Yeah, you know proper I mean? blood in them, you know? Yeah. yeah. You know that every guy, they're, they don't have a last name. So, their last name is their father's first name with son at the end of it. No shit. So, Bjornsson, Thor Bjornsson, his it's father's Bjorn. name is Bjorn, so it's Bjorn's son. <laughs> That's great. And, and girl, like a girl, let's say her name is, I don't know, uh, 
uh, like Cindy. My mom's name is Cindy, okay? It'd be Cindy Dottir. Dottir is like daughter. daughter. Yeah. yeah, so every person, every person Iceland's last name or like a, a woman is Dottir and the guy is uh, his son. So no, like you, you don't really have a last name, which is pretty weird, man. Yeah, like, but you know what, bro? Butcher, where does Butcher come from, you know? Where does where does Carpentier come from? You get what True. I'm saying? Okay. Right? Yeah, yeah. They yeah. all come down from some shit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Where does Dickface come from? Down to- <laughs> <laughs> Stephen Dickface. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, man. I know. Him. Yeah, I know. Him. Yeah. I know. Him. But yeah, no, no. It, it really, it really does, bro. The thing is, bro. The, these all come from very basic uh, cultures. Well, not cultures, but just like uh, how would I say this? Just like basic, like. Uh, What's passed down from tradition to ju- tradition, like yep. uh, like a uh, fucking whatever the fuck you want to call, it. but it's a basic tradition. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It all started from somebody that was known for something, especially out here in North America. You were known for something that you do, right? And then that's that's what took over like your your family name, right? And mm. that those expanded, and then they got more multicultural and that's whatnot. What and then they got like uh, what's it called when you have like two family names uh, composed, right? That's only in Quebec, dude. Yeah, you know the guys from Quebec when he has two last names or yeah. two first names. Yeah, like yeah, two Jean first names. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> you say that, but bro, it's so my, true. My homeboy Jean Philippe is straight <laughs> Mexican, bro. <laughs> straight Mexican, yo. It's Juan Felipe. It's Juan okay? Felipe. It literally, it literally is. is. Yeah, yeah, it literally <laughs> is. That must be a Latin Quebec, thing. It's a yeah. Latin thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Juan Felipe, but in fucking Quebec is Jean Philippe. You know? Yeah. Oh, oh, fuck it, and that guy is 100% pure blood Mexican, bro. But his name in, in Quebec is Jean Philippe, man. It really is. It's hey, a weird thing. Bro, before. But you know, what, you, go ahead. Sorry, sorry. You, no, know ahead. What, you know what they say, right? Anywhere the fuck you go in the world, you're going to hear a tabarnak. Yeah, that's true. Absolutely. Bro, man, so many places in be, Quebec, man. You can be on Mount Everest. Bro, you're going to hear a cock sucking Quebecican, bro, in your fucking ear. Bro, that's what happened. Tabarnak, man. Serge, là, on est quasiment là, là. Ah, ouais, let's oh go, Oh, my là. God, man. You're going to hear that for sure. Six, seven different spots in fucking yeah. Colombia. Bro, we were traveling, man. Not just staying in the same fucking city, walking to different spots. Tabarnak, we t- set. traveling, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cartagena, Medellin, yeah. Tayrona, fucking uh, Rio Negro, fucking... Whoa, where else? whoa, no, don't whoa. Worry. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, <laughs> it's I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> bro, everywhere we'd go, I swear to God, I'd, I'd hear at least one Quebec or speak and then i was like man it's 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 true bro yeah it's it fucking is, it true is. bro it is it's true you know and it makes you think is quebec that bad of a place that people want to travel all the time <laughs> you know what i'm saying bro Ooh, you know that's a deep I'm question saying? bro that is a deep question well <laughs> canadians look okay we have awful winters Yes, especially in the one. east, and we have the privilege to to be able to travel. Oh man, hundred percent, bro. You know, 100%. Canadians, Canadians and Americans. Yes, we're known worldwide. But there's a reason. That, bro. There's a reason for it. You know, for sure. Hey, man, yeah, because bro, in, in, in Colombia, man, I was talking about that. I was like, yo, listen. I was talking to one of our taxi drivers. That guy was a fucking G, bro. Shout out to Carlos, man. That guy, yo, bro, that guy took us everywhere, bro. This guy picked us up, took us shopping for four hours. That's and his then, job, parse. No, no, he took us shopping, bro. Like, oh. he walked with us for four really? hours and then drove us two hours and charged us like 250K, which is under $100, bro. We felt bad. We gave him 360, you know, like Damn. a whole hundred, you know? And then, um, Bro, this guy was a straight G, bro. We were like, yeah, you should come party with us, whatever the fuck. And he did. You know, he came and drank with us. We had fun and whatnot. But, bro, that guy was like, listen, man, just get a fucking visa. Come to Canada. And we'll hook you up. I got cash work for you, you know. I'll get you a fucking spot where you can just pay cash. You don't have to declare your shit. You know, just fucking work your shit and then fucking send money back to your family. Like, he was a family guy, you know. Like, we we could we could, like, see it off of him, like... Fuck, before he even dropped us off, he stopped by his mom to, like, literally give money out. And he was like, I love you and shit before leaving and dropping us off at our spot. You get what I'm saying? Mm. Like, he was, a, he, was a, uh, he was a stand-up, like, family man. You get what I'm saying? I was like, listen, bro, if you want to, man, come here, bro. I'll pay you fucking, like, I'll pay you good money. You get what I'm saying? Fucking 75K an hour, bro. You can get that money, save it up. Whatever the fuck you're paying here is nothing compared to what you can... K, 75K in, in their money. Yeah, 75k yeah. for them. Jesus yeah. Christ, dude. No, for sure. Yeah. You know, and for them, bro, like, as I said, bro, dude spent a whole eight hours with us and made 250k. Hmm. You get what I'm saying? I'm offering him 75k a fucking hour. You get what I'm saying, bro? I'm like, no matter what the fuck you pay in terms of grocery and, and, and fucking, like, 
and, and like a roof and, and everything, bro, you're still gonna be able to send your parents so much fucking money. Yeah. Right. And he was he was just shocked by the experience. And then I started talking to Peo's girlfriend, right? Cause she she fucking lives there, right? Yeah. I was like, yo, listen, like, what's like, how hard would it be for him to get like a visa and shit? She's like, bro, like, I work legitimately. You know, she handles like I think like forty people something, and she makes like thirty k a year, right? And she's like, even with all that, bro, I still gotta pay like fifteen to twenty k. But apparently, there's like a thirty five percent corporate tax there. <sighs> They're taxed a lot. Taxed a lot, which is surprising. Crazy interest too, man. Really? Crazy interest. You can't buy a car. Is it like car. here or is it no, not no, as bad no, no, as here? No, 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 It's like 30 to 40% interest if you want to buy a car or a crib or anything. What? So you're better off paying cash. Pea bought his car cash, bro. I think it was like 20 Gs. Our friend Pea um, lives in, where does he live? In Rio Negro. Rio Negro. He lives in uh, Rio Negro right now, and he is a um, he's a day, uh, day trader. Day trader, yeah. He trades uh, the stock market every day, and yep. he makes some pretty good living for himself. Yep. Um, apparently, his house is beautiful, right? Yeah, it's a six spot, man. Wow. And it's dirt cheap, bro. It's like 500 a month. And the know? Wi-Fi apparently is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. No, it's, it's just the taxes. It's a good life. Taxes. Apparently, Mexico is fucked right now. Oh, bro, Mexico is fucking... It's crazy. There's bro. too many tourists. Apparently, the rent has gone up like crazy. And Uber and taxis are fighting. Bro, it's dangerous. Bro. Uber and taxi are fighting. So, like uh, two weeks ago, right after my sister left from uh, Mexico, they had um, what's it called? They had Uber and taxis fighting to the point where they blocked off the roads to the airport a kilometer away from the airport. Hmm. So tourists had to either walk with all their luggage to the airport for a kilometer, or they had taxi like police escorts. You know. Crazy, bro. And then on top of that, right now, I think it was in uh, what's it called? The 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 really nice spot that Meech was in recently before leaving. Uh, what's it called? The the nice Playa del Carmen. Playa del Carmen. Yeah. It was on Fifth Avenue, right? I don't know. It, it was a really like high, like expensive spot. You know, where like everyone goes to a restaurant all in white and shit, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, Tulum. Tulum. Yes. Tulum. Right now in Tulum, bro, they just found three three government workers like literally stuffed in a car. In a basement, bro, like, dead, and that has to be through, like, you know, drug deals or whatever. That didn't go through from well, the cartel. that's what happens when the cartel runs everything, right? They run everything, bro. Yeah, it's so you know say, what? Man. That's why I'd rather... Yes, okay, there's crime but everywhere, dude, Colombia's okay? Colombia's different, you know? Really? Yeah, bro, because Colombia, they're trying to stray away from that shit. I know a lot of Colombian people, actually. I could, yeah. I could, I would love to go for They're real. trying to stray away from that shit, whereas in, in Mexico, the, the cartel still runs everything. They run everything. In Colombia... The, the government, like, now they're paying the the policeman, like, almost, like, 100K a year, you know? Like, something <laughs> crazy, you know? Like, like uh, not 100K. Like, imagine if a police uh, a cop Officer, here yeah. would get, like, 120 a year, you know? It'd be hard to corrupt him over, like, petty shit, right? It's the same thing over there. They're paying them, like, extravagant, like, amounts, right? And they're just trying to shy them away from corruption. You you can't bring it's up a like good thing. yeah man. You can't bring up the name Pablo without people looking at you bizarre and shit like that. You know, it's just mm. little stuff like that. But they're really trying to change the direction about it uh, of it in general. They're trying to like get that whole bullshit out of the way. You know, mm. and I, I fucking amend that. I I pause that, bro, because I love it, man. Over there is beautiful, bro. It was so nice, man. It was so nice. The people were beautiful, bro. The people, the culture yes. was beautiful over there. If you try, they try. You get what I'm mm. saying? Like, it, obviously, if you show up acting like a fucking gringo and saying, like, hey, bro, yeah. like, you know. That's the problem. People that get into, like, uh, trouble, it's because they act like shit. Yeah, bro. Dude, you're not in your country, okay? Bro, like, this is here. not Canada. Yeah. You can't just, like, go down the street smoking a joint and, and thinking that everything is going to be okay. Yeah, bro. It's not like that at all. Yeah, come here, act like a fucking American. I'll fucking smack you up. You know exactly, what I'm saying, bro? Exactly, man. And then you have, like, chains on and a nice watch. Dude, no wonder you're going to get your you're ass You're going to get mugged. fucking rubbed. Yeah, yeah, for sure, bro. For sure. Mm. For sure. Hundo P, bro. Hundo P. Yeah. Hey, man, before we go, yeah. I just want to do one last thing. Yeah. Hey, because we're foodies, okay? Yeah. We need to talk about the restaurants that we the, that we've been to. You for know sure, what I mean? For sure. Uh, Ottawa and Gatineau have some good, great restaurants. There's sure. just some really good restaurants. There's some terrible ones as sure. well. Because uh, honestly, Quebec, um, except for Montreal and Gatineau a little bit, and Quebec, Quebec, Quebec too. City, yeah. Quebec City has Quebec some pretty City, good yeah, food. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's pretty much just Tim Hortons and McDonald's. Yeah, for sure. To be honest, yeah, that's yeah. what it is. So, what are your top three? If you were to rank it. Yeah. I want your opinion too. What are your top three restaurants in Ottawa Gatineau right now? Uh, I'd say Ottawa, L'Atelier, and uh, Supply and Demand. 
for sure. And really? Where's that? Supply and demand is right off, uh, well, well, not Wellington. It's, okay, uh, you guys are going to drop some fucking gems here. Yeah, Let's yeah. go. Let's it's, go. Uh, it's in Westboro. Okay. Westboro. Okay. Uh, they, they do like, uh, what's it called? Like uh, pasta, mostly. Okay. But they're, they're fucking crazy, bro. They do like, they do like fucking crazy shit, bro. Wow, like, okay. Definitely worth checking out. If not, L'Atelier is uh, a little bit like Center Town. Okay. Right? Crazy fucking food. They do like fucking 100 course meals. Um, get snow, I'd say fucking, what's it called? Um, the one right beside my work, uh, Le... Vilain Garçon. Vilain Garçon. Vilain yeah. Garçon is good. I've been, actually, that's my top three. Yeah. Three on the list is Vilain Garçon. Vilain Garçon is very good. Um, wine pairing was amazing. amazing the food bro. was really good, but... The pistos? A little expensive for what it is. Yeah, for sure. For okay. Sure. Service was amazing. Everything was top. Yeah. For sure. I would say I like Evo. Evo, Ever is, been to Evo? is that on Evo. Preston? Oh, Greek food, Preston? yeah. That's what I was about to drop, bro. Yeah? Evo uh, is the best Greek restaurant in the city, bro. Yo, bro. come here. Come here. Talk to him, bro. Yes, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, no. Just grab a chair. Is there another chair? No, okay. No, well, no, no, come, come, on. Here, come, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Welcome, brother. You got the keys. All right, bro. What's huh? up? You got the keys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, over there. Over there. Okay. I think Cam has Oh, them. I got the keys. Do I? Do I? Hell yeah. For sure. One buckle Perfect. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? How's How you going? doing, man? I'm this good, is I'm Cameron good. Thompson, guys. Uh, we've How's been uh, we've been friends since we're kids, bro. Kids, kids. Youngins, bro. We've, we've been, been through a through lot. Everything, bro. Uh, okay, we're not gonna talk about that today, but we're gonna talk What's about it. This a... guy drinking, bro. <laughs> 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 Might as well fucking get into it. Yeah. Um, okay, we had a uh, look, dude. I, I look. I really want to keep a pod just for that. Okay. So, but we've yeah, been, for sure, bro. we've been through life and death situations. We've been through everything, uh, childhood, all that, you Literally. know, yeah, we've been through a lot of crazy situations. So we're going to keep that for a full hour so we can talk about it. Yeah. But honestly, man, I just want your opinion. Cause, uh, Cam's a foodie too. Okay. Cam is I love uh, food. He, dude. He's a, sure. he's a restaurant addict like me. Okay. What's your top three, man? So yeah, I was about, I was actually going with Evo, as you said, Greek food. Uh, I love like. Greek food just in general is mm -hmm. delicious, right? Um, other than that, I would say, like, I'm a big Italian food pasta guy. So Giovanni's is nice, but, like, the price is just crazy. So, like, I go there every, like, once a year. Mama Teresa is pretty good. Mama yeah. Teresa is excellent. Yeah. But also uh, Fratelli's in Westboro is great, bro. Ooh, I don't know I don't that. know if you've ever been there. It's nope. excellent. Um, yeah, so Evo, Fratelli's. You ever been to Farinello's? No. Farinella is a pizza spot. Um, I don't remember the street, man. Uh, it's in oh. Little Italy. On Great Dinner. pizza, dude. And they only sell like meter long pizzas. So, yeah, yeah, So it's like sure. a long, like. Yep. And it's all like. Type. I think it's. Oh, man. The Italians are going to hate me. I think it's Roman, Roman style. Okay. Great, dude. You can get like all different kinds of. And you can get like. You can separate the meter. So you can separate the meter in like three different uh, ingredients. Uh, not ingredients, but like different types of pizza. So you can have it like. So the pizza could be different. So you know? it's an actual like, yeah, yeah. Oh, you a, get a full, full meter. Oh yeah, for That's sure. Crazy. It's really good, really good. So you can split it up in the like different types yeah. of pizzas. Yeah, I right? got Farinella. I would say between Vilain Garçon and Evo, Evo man, Evo's Evo amazing. is crazy. I love amazing, Greek food. Amazing, bro. Like you get a bunch of yeah. different platters and share them yeah. with like a full table. There was the seafood pl uh, platter. Yeah. Seafood platter was really good, but their um, their meat platter. Dude, they're lamb chops. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, I haven't tried those. You don't like lamb chops? You like lamb? I, I I love lamb. Dude. Amazing. Any meat, I actually... Yeah, like, yeah, me too. I love red meat, I man. just... Whatever. And lamb was just... It's the best. It's the absolute best. And number one, are you ready? Mm-hmm. Saint Fasson. Yeah. Saint Fasson, Saint -Fasson is, is a sick. restaurant on Saint-Joseph in Gatineau, Quebec. It is a local restaurant. Who's the owner? Joey Rivers. Joey Rivers. Yeah, I don't know dude, you, brother. But your restaurant is fucking amazing. Great okay. spot. Like, Crazy he owns vibes. what else? Uh, Fubrak. Fubrak, and Munch as well. Meech and Munch. Dude, I don't know you. Was. I would love to have you on the pod, okay? Uh, you run some pretty fucking good businesses, man. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. Safasson, the service is amazing. The drinks are A1. Cocktails. Great Dude, cocktails the of that The food? Place. Excellent. The food is it's my, favorite, it's my favorite restaurant ever. The yeah. food is amazing. Dude, we ha sure. I had an elk tartare. What else? Uh, they have um, the tomahawk. 
Top, like, yeah, special uh, specialized tomahawks. What else do they have, man? Parmesan fries. Just Parmesan fries. Everything. Like, like, uh, their, o- entrees like oysters, their entrees are their good. Their entrees too. are great. So, guys. I've been you... to a, a boozy brunch or whatever. Ooh. No, it was actually, yeah, it was probably, it was a boozy brunch. Okay. And so, whenever they do those, they have, like, their own, uh, they they make their own menu that they don't usually have. So, it's really? a specialized menu. And the breakfasts were fucking When is that? It's like, it's like a Sunday They'll event? They'll have them on a Sunday, like, okay. Easter, like, just. Really? Two or three times a year type thing. Like bottomless mimosas and shit? Yeah, like okay. crazy shit. It, it okay. actually, like, it, it turns out, like... Get your girl to do some wild shit. For you know sure, I mean? bro. For you sure, bro. I mean? For sure. <laughs> yeah, so the food there is amazing. Nice, like, so man. the breakfast they had... What was it? It was a duck... It was a duck eggs Benedict. It was Damn. the best breakfast I had ever had in my life, bro. Wow, I like breakfast too, man. I like Crazy, breakfast bro. too. Crazy. But I like like sloppy breakfasts. Like Denny's is my go-to, bro. I like like you know American breakfasts. You know like a bunch of sugar full and stack just of bacon, oh, sausage, yeah. pancakes. Oh yeah, the yeah, whole for, shebang, sure. for sure. The whole shebang, guys. Thank you so much for listening. It's already been we we busted. It's been like 10, 20 minutes. It's all good. Hey, it's all good. Bars. No, no, no. Th- this guy no, no. Just say shame. something. Appreciate you for having me on, man. Any yeah, same here, bro. fucking love, time. Bro. Guys, these are my friends, okay? And they are going to come back on the pod. Don't worry about it, okay? Next episode is Mr. Solomon. I'm not going to go into details about what he does in his life, but I suggest you tune in. You don't want to miss it, okay? So, guys, like, subscribe, share, and tell a friend to tell a friend, all right? <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks, man. Have a good night. Love you all.